What if I told you there's a semi-truck that can drive itself 500 miles on a single charge? Pretty crazy, right? Well, that semi-truck actually exists, introduced to Tesla Semi. I know what you're thinking. A 500-mile range sounds great on paper, but it's actually practical for the grueling demands of real-world semi-trucking. Do the critics have point when they say issues like winter range laws make the Tesla Semi impractical? So in this video, I really wanted to dig deep into the details on the Tesla Semi's range capabilities. Important questions like, can it actually drive 500 miles fully loaded? How much range is lost in cold winter conditions? And most importantly, is the reported range enough to cover most semi-trucking duties? As a quick refresher, Tesla themselves list a 500-mile range for the semi when it's fully loaded to 82,000 pounds gross weight. That's not unloaded by the way, but with a full heavy 80,000 pounds cargo load. In addition to that, it's looked like the semi can actually exceed 500 miles in some real-world cases. At the highly publicized PepsiCo delivery event last year, Tesla demonstrated a 500-mile drive from Fremont, California down to San Diego. Not only did it achieve the targeted range, it did so using only 93% of the available battery capacity according to the data Tesla provided. Now you might be thinking, okay, but that was probably some easy basic flat interstate drive, right? Nope, not at all actually. This specific route had some legit elevation changes for the Tesla Semi to contend with. The terrain maps for this road found over 3,400 feet of total elevation gain. We're talking a 7.5 maximum uphill grade at some points, plus an average 3.4% uphill slope maintained for long durations. For those unaware, a 7.5% trucking grade is extremely steep. That's navigating intricate mountain roads, not just rolling hills. This is some serious uphill work. Yet yeah, the Tesla Semi conquered these intense grades while pulling a maximum 82,000 pound weight. And it still drove the full 500 miles on just a 93% battery. I think that's really impressive, don't you? Alright, so it clearly has power and range to spare in ideal warmer conditions. But what about when winter comes knocking and temperatures start really dropping? That's when EVs can start to suffer. And you're completely right. All electric vehicles do lose a percentage of their range in cold winter temperatures when batteries aren't as efficient. In fact, based on actual data from thousands of Tesla car owners aggregated by the app Tesafi, range loss averages around 40% at just 10 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a huge drop, no doubt. Now the Tesla Semi almost certainly has much more advanced thermal management compared to the consumer cars to minimize losses. But winter range loss remains a reality for all lithium-ion powered EVs. So if we estimate a similar 40% loss in winter, the 500 mile Tesla Semi range could plunge to around 300 miles at 10% degrees Fahrenheit. And that's just a rough estimate based on Tesla car data. In actual testing, the Semi range may not decrease quite as drastically or it could even drop further, no one knows for sure yet. Here's the real million dollar question though. Even assuming some range deterioration in winter, does the Tesla Semi actually have enough left to handle legitimate real-world semi-trucking range needs? Or are the critics right that it's still impractical compared to diesels? According to a report released by the Department of Energy, a whopping 87% of all annual semi-truck freight tonnage is shipped less than 250 miles on average. That's a huge piece of the pie. Now take battery health preservation into consideration, avoiding full charges and deep discharge cycles. Following those best practices would conservatively leave around 240 miles of winter range on a Tesla Semi by my estimates. For 87% of routes under 250 miles, I'd confidently say that's more than enough range to accomplish the mission even if frigid temperatures. Wouldn't you agree? The critics definitely have some valid concerns I'll admit. The first version of Tesla Semi certainly won't work for 100% of long-haul routes just yet, but it seems abundantly clear it can replace diesel semis right now for a majority of freight needs. And it's not like diesel big rigs are impervious to winter's cruel grasp either. Talk about a walk out on the truck stop parking lot during a cold snap. You'll see block heaters plug in everywhere trying to keep diesel fuel from gelling from bitter temperatures. Some professional truckers talk about major efficiency impacts from the things like fuel additives and idle time in winter. We're talking 20% losses or more in fuel economy just trying to keep their rigs running in cold weather. 
On top of that, consider all the auxiliary systems running full blast in the modern diesel semi when it's really frigid outside, the bunker heater, ABA unit, fuel heating systems to prevent gelling, battery and engine block heaters, oil pan heaters, etc. This can consume extensive amounts of additional diesel just generating heat and keeping other fluids warm enough to function. Idle time can burn 0.5 to 1 gallon per hour easily. One veteran trucker from Iowa shared that he leaves his truck idling non-stop anytime the mercury dips below 10 degrees Fahrenheit. That's just so he can keep from gelling up while delivering holiday packages. When you tally up the total cost of diesel fuel used in traditionally powered semi during an icy winter, between the major hits of mileage and constant idling of accessories, it really starts to add up. We could be talking thousands in extra diesel. Whereas the Tesla Semi may use some additional energy for battery heating of course, but without an engine needing to constantly run or gel fuel worries, it's almost guaranteed to have lower winter-related energy losses in most cases. The electric motors and lithium-ion powertrain hum along nicely despite Jack Frost's best efforts to freeze everything else up. And we haven't even touched on aspects like regen energy recovery, superior traction control, or instant torque advantage and slippery condition that also play in the semi's capabilities. So while EV cold weather efficiency does take a hit, traditional diesel trucks grapple with just as many frozen problems, maybe even more depending on the conditions. Based on all the available data we have access to, I confidently declare that the Tesla Semi's range should sufficiently handle the needs of most real-world semi-trucking loads based on the critical range usage stats from credible agencies like Department of Energy. Do you think the Tesla Semi's range is truly up to the rigorous tasks demanded of semi-trucks drivers? Or will limitations like Windsor range loss greatly handicap it anytime soon compared to diesels? Let me know all your thoughts on this pressing debate in the comments down below. I genuinely want to hear from you. And if you learned something new or just like this breakdown, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button to help out the channel. Thanks so much for sticking with me to the end here. Let's keep the conversation going in the comments and I'll catch you in the next video.